When it comes to the crate, you also have to start building a positive relationship with the crate. You can't just start putting her in there and then peace out because she's gonna be like this, what do you mean? Like, where are you going? And she might panic. So throughout the day, you wanna start teaching her how to go in and how to go out, right? So like teaching her kennel and she goes in, yes, get her out, stuff like that. If you feel like she really doesn't like the crate, some things I'll do is I'll put the dog's meals in the crate. So now she has to eat her food in the crate too. I'll also consider giving her a high value treat that she only gets when she's in the crate. So that makes it very, very desirable for her to go in because I never get this any other time. So when it comes to healthy periods of separation, Hi, right here. When it comes to healthy periods of separation, you want to make sure that you're not like, bye, I'll see you later. And when you come home, you're not like, oh, I miss you so much especially because you don't live here, I'm sure that's gonna be difficult because when you come over, like you're so excited to see her. So the problem with that is if we greet the dog like it's an event every single time we come home and we leave, that's gonna make the dog feel like there's something happening. I like, every time mom comes home, this thing happens. And when you leave, it suddenly goes away. I heard you're not supposed to punish her, like create her as a punishment. Correct. Um, but yesterday I could tell that she was tired and I put her in there and she was just barking and barking and I sat over here so she couldn't see me. I don't know if it's anxiety or whatever, but she will just fall asleep. So like anytime she gets in there, she'll bark and whatever, but she won't ever stay awake and play in there. She just falls asleep. That's actually very good. That, so you don't want her to be awake and play because that's the time where you settle. You want her to go to sleep in the crate. You don't want her to be wide awake because if she's wide awake, then she's gonna be barking because suddenly Confinement is such a crappy thing, I wanna get out of here. If you put her in there and she goes to sleep, that's a great thing. You want that to happen. Okay.